guys, this video is a little back in the Carpet Vanguard deck uh, as well as any weekly videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't like, comment, subscribe, and let's do it. Sorry. This time we we're covering more reviews from the Local Monastery Booster Set. I was literally just looking over the reviews we have right now, just in total. And what do you do? They're back to the 20s. Slowly but surely, I'm getting to use more of my slides again, which is kind of fun because I miss editing the slides. Anyways, let's start with everything we got because Bushy just decided to drop a bunch of support for the original, like, five Lyrical Monast five to six Lyrical Monastery decks while also buffing the new ones with, you know, the respective dress ups. First up, we have Let's See was visible through Looking Glass Let Test, so great chance to 5k show, 10k base. All in all, she's placed on Rear Guard Circle other than during the battle phase. Your Vanguard has Lorna Lot's card name, and you put a song into your order zone this turn. Energy Blast 3, check the top 5, show up to one card with a different card name from this unit and grade less than to your Vanguard. Call to Rear Guard and shuffle your deck. So, pretty much free Rear Guard, and they continue Rear Guard during turn if your order zone has two or more face down cards in it, plus enough of power. Okay, free 20k swing, free Rear Guard Maker. On Honestly, I really do love this for Lorinol. Lorinol was always like my least favorite of the original five or six, so having this card that gets a board pressure and is a good beat stick is fun for me, so I say this is a good four of. And we have the Sound of the Stars and Seas Romelita, Great on Boost, 5k show, deck at base. Auto rear guard once per turn when your Vanguard sings a song, energy blast three, choose, choose a song from your drop zone, put it to hand. Okay. If this came out mm, towards, I think, like Lorinol's second set of support, so right before she got her Evo. I would have said this card is amazing because I think that was one of my biggest problems with Lorna at that time, the fact that I would just have to constantly discard songs. But we are past that point now, and I don't feel that way anymore. I'm not against this card, but I definitely would have used it earlier compared to now. So if you do one or two over three of them, but at least I know earlier for me it would have been an easy four of before now. Then we have Surrounded by Flowers Light Part, Great 1 Boost, 5k Shield, AK Base, continues Rear Guard. If your opponent's Vanguard's a great 3 or greater and you play the Gem Order this turn, plus 5,000 power, still 13k Base, pretty solid. Then Auto Rear Guard and then Return if you have a Vanguard with Lucifer's Card Name, Energy Blast 3, Retire Her, and choose either a great 3 with Lucifer's Card Name or a Gentle Order from your Drop Zone. Put it to hand. Okay, this card's really good. It recycles um, Persona Rides and it gets you back orders. Now, Again, with the existence of Romelita, I wish this came out earlier. You know, I will list a second set of support, so right before she got her Evo, because it would have made at least a lot more sense considering her main thing at that point was milling out your own deck. So being able to get your Persona Rides back, which you may mill out, I know I did it a couple of times, or your orders that you may mill out, again, definitely did it a couple of times, would have been really helpful, but she's still really good now, so I think she's a nice three of in the Willis deck or four. I haven't really played Willis in a while. Then we have Light Asterism Jamel, grade 3 to 9 for 13k base. Auto rear guard when taxed into anything. If you play both True Hearted Ruby and Everlasting Sapphire this turn, Kyra Boss 1, your entire form gets 5 power. Okay, I was about to say this is bad, and then I completely remembered the fact that the newer order counts as both of those. So being able to be in 18k swing while also giving plus 5 to front rows all around pretty solid. I do like Jamel a lot. I feel like the deck is a little clunky though. Again, I don't remember. I do remember though having two grade 3s, or wanting to have the two grade 3 on the board that restand, but who knows? I was, I was like Jamel's a nice three of tech just because then we have our coral line so angelic star coral grade zero boost 5k shows okay base on rope line for second draw card star is for you draw if you go second um this is actually required if you're going to play the coral deck because of what the coral deck focuses on first star coral or as i like to call her more example that people don't pay attention or know how to read cards i'm calling out I i'm not calling out someone i'm not trying to call out someone it's just it proves my point that sometimes people just don't pay attention because I have proof of this now and I feel so bad just saying that outright, but I feel like I just have to make that clear. And there's good on boost left because you can base armor pump by shiny star corals, like a top seven, two up to one grade, two up to one you carve a coral and card name or grade three you carve among them, we're gonna put your hand off your deck. Okay, the original card text I got from this, and this is something I gotta point out, is it specifically asked for grade three coral. The original translated card text, which I assumed was wrong, but I had no reason to assume it was since most of the time 99% of the time reveals are right so didn't bother fixing that for the game that I had against Ezel anyways Although, when this card is put into your soul by the ability of your grade 3 regard of Vanguard Corps, when this card into your Vanguard, put the power for that turn. Your opponent's Vanguard to grade 3 regard, the chosen you also gets triple drive. Okay, cool. Gets extra drive checks, gets the Vanguard numbers. I can already tell you, like, considering the fact that two, both of these require to go to soul, I guarantee you that if Coral does get an evolution along the line, which will probably be the following set, she will probably be able to put both these to soul and proc out both their abilities at once. So, fair enough. But either way, though, she's a nice main deck card. I mean, triple drive and 5k, and also you want to have many cores possible for her skills. So, she's a nice three of, or like, max copy in the main deck. 
Let me have Shiny Star, Coral Great to SF5, because Shield Tank Base, Aldo Van. Unless you attack, choose one of your rear guards, you may return to the hand. I legitimately forgot that skill exists the first time he's this card because I, it felt so random being on this card. And the auto input into your soul by the ability of your great three guard of Vanguard Coral card name. Draw a card, energy charge, won't you remain your recruits? It's like that power for that turn. Again, I think I said it in this set three. I don't remember who it was. But again, Bushy proving that they made cards that can energy charge and then proc with the Vanguard skill that focus on energy blasting four that can make them consistent. But what did they do when they made the start deck bosses? F that entirely. I don't know why Bushy did that. I'm still mad about this because this is the second time they proved they can do that. The first time being Ritual Glass. Because the main Vanguard skill, Aurora Star Coral, cost 4 EB. And also has a really good skill that I completely ignored during the Ezo match because I actually forgot that it was there. Anyways, grade 3, 10 percent with 30k base. The most forgettable skill on this card because everything else is far more important considering it fits as the aggressive. Continuous Vanguard, all your units with Coral in the card, and you get Plasma Shield. Okay, I know what I just said sounds very wrong, especially because, you know, defense was a big thing at like right before DZ where everyone wanted more defensive decks. I mean, it's less important to me because as we've made it very clear, I'm a very aggro player. So if I see a shield skill, I'm probably going to ignore if everything else involves attack as well. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Anyways, Act Vanguard once we're trying to put a hand card to soul, draw a card. Okay, that's at least free cycling, worst comes to worst. And if you put a Coral card uh, for the cost, this unit gets Alder Vanguard and then by the attacks, choose one of your rear guard, stand it. Okay, cool. So being able to stand rear guards is nice. And it's not a once per turn, so, or, like, the, this half of the ability is a once per turn, but being able to stand is not a once per turn, so if you find a way to restand the Vanguard, cool, if you restand out of your rear guard, and then auto Vanguard at the start of your battle phase, energy blast four for every two cards with Coral in the card name and your soul, all your frontward units get five power for that turn, and plus Vanguard's a great three guard, plus one crit. And a deck that can multi-attack was pretty helpful, especially considering the fact that guaranteed, unless you Soul Blast, if you end up sending a Coral to Soul from her ability, since you'll most likely have the full ride line already, you'll auto be able to have four uh, Corals in Soul, which means a plus 10 to your front row the second you use that skill for the first time. All around Aurora Star is pretty good. She has multi-attack potential. She gets extra crit, which is nice. She gets really good numbers, and that comes in really helpful in the late game where you're slowly sacking your soul. And she has a nice defensive shield ability. What's like about her? Easy for of. And then we have starting Tone Kosmar, Great on Boost, 5 showed aka Base, the great one I always feel bad for because I fucked up when using her. Auto place on Guard Circle, Soul Boss, one time every battle, the shield gets the and Shield for every two cards with Coral and the card in from your soul. So, pretty much the more defensive version of her. And the reason why I feel bad for this one is because Coral lost its first game, not because the deck just didn't do its job. Well, it didn't see any Corals to send to Soul for this skill, uh, but it would have lived if I had remembered to use Kozmar. It would be more that if I remember Kozmar cost a Soul Blast when I did the skill, because I bounced the Grade 3 to hand, which also cost a Soul Blast, which ended up screwing me out of guarding power. Either way, though, Kozmar is a nice Grade 1. I do like it a lot. I think it's good, so it's a nice 3 or 4, four for the Coral Support deck. And we have Singing for Generations to Come. Set this. Great to SF5 k Shield. Tank K Base. Probably the most standard restander card of ever. Uh, auto Rear Guard when it tanks into anything. If your Vanguard's a Great 3 Guard of Coral, plus 5,000 power for that battle. Then Auto Rear Guard when it's stood by the effect of your Coral Coral and it's card name the turn, plus 5,000 power. So 15k the turn it stands by a card effect. And then 20k when it swings, or you know, 15k when it swings technically, but it'll be probably be 20k on the second attack. Either way, Set this is a very good Grade 2. I like it a lot. I think it's a nice card for that's much I can say about it. Then we have Star Diva of Sound Retard, Grade 2 instead of 5k shield, 10k base. All don't place on rear guard circle, kind of one to core from your drops and add it to hand. And then it continues to be a guard guard circle if your soul has four more cores in the card name. Plus 5 then shield, 5,000 power. Okay, cool. 15k shield, 10k, sh uh, 10k shield, 15k base, which is nice. It could also recycle a coral. That was really helpful the one time I got to use it because every other time these guys refused to leave the deck for whatever reason that may be. So, okay, I'm not going to count the time that this skill would have procced off if I 100% knew for a fact that. A skill just searched for coral, but uh, is what is. Either way, though, four of nice card to recycle. Then we have singular heart Rurika. grade one boost, five k shield, ak base. The best card in this deck for me by a long shot, and I said it when this card got revealed. And then she refuses to show up, so I can't even do the play I want to with her. Auto rear guard when she boosts, if your vanguard's a coral, doesn't matter what grade it is, if you're, you may choose a coral from your drop zone and shove it to soul, at the end of the battle, if you have four more cards of coral in their card names, and you do not counter charge this turn, retire her, counter charge one. If by some unfortunate miracle you're running into a CB issue, use her skill to counter charge. I had did that once because I was spamming this card 24-7. But... 
If you don't need to, you can just use her as an infinite soul charger. Except the only downside is you need to hit corals. Something I don't do so often to the point where I had to run an extra copy of this in the main deck just so I had more corals. I am not being sarcastic, I am being legitimately serious. And the sad part is I still don't see her anyways. That, that's the worst part too. Like the few games that I will open with like a, an actual decent amount of corals, I just won't draw her until the late game. I don't know why. I like this great one a lot. It fits perfectly for me and yet I can never use her. For Rurika, hopefully she shows up one day because I actually like her. And we have Lumius Melody at Ernesia. Grade 3, 200% right, 13k base. All the rear guards do attack, save your souls for more corals. Carapos will draw, Carapos on the power, so you know, 18k with the free draw. And then all the rear guard in your turn, if you have four more corals in your card name and your soul, soul boss one bounce the card to hand. I will never use this card again. It's, I literally have PTSD from fucking up with Kozmar skill, not realizing both of them cost a soul boss, which ultimately meant I couldn't guard by 5k. Like, I know that's my fault. Again, it was my first match, so it's not like I was a, like in full control there. But like now, I would never call this card to rear guard if that's a choice, because or I would never use that bounce skill at least, regardless, simply because I need soul now to use Cosmar. That will forever ring in my head. Like I would never use the skill again because it uh, makes me afraid to do so. But it's a good card. It's a three over four of honestly. Then we have more cards supporting the old decks. Variation decorating the Moonlight Arjaria. Grade 2 and SF5, Kashio, Tanka Bez, Automus, you placed on Rear Guard, Circle, Revang, or Faulty Rose and Card Name. Just Faulty Rose from your drop zone, you may shove it to Soul. Okay, cool. That's just free Soul Charge, so that's great. And then Auto Rear Guard, when this attacks on anything, and this unit can find the power for that battle. At the end of that battle, choose a Faulty Rose and this card from your Soul, you may put it to your hand if you put Retire this unit. This card would be so busted if they made Archetypal PGs. If they made Archetypal PGs, this card will be busted because it'd probably be able to recycle that felty rose. But all around, this card's great because, you know, it searches Persona Rise, or at least searches the grade one and, or grade two of the ride deck, respectively. But also, speaking of which, does this go props regardless of what grade your Vanguard's at? You can just, like, play the Soul Blast Recycler. I vouch I think her name is, where, you know, you when she's just for ride deck, Soul Blast 1, bot deck her to draw a card. So then you could Soul Blast out those Felty Rose. It's just called Aragia. And because she can proc while you're a grade 2, just put that card you Soul Blast back into Soul. All around, she's very solid grade 2. I like her skill a lot. I think she's great. I mean, free 15k Swinger, who can also get rid of herself and recycle Felty Roses of all in one go. So, four of. And then we have Dashing Through the Starry Sky, Irmahar, Im, Irmahilde, I'm, I'm not going to be able to say that, I don't know why I can't, I know how to say it, I just, my brain physically can't right now. Anyways, great, 3 time person, 30 game base, okay, one of my favorite arts coming out of this, I love these will o -Ips. I don't know why, those look so cool. Anyways, all the rear guard, that about this unit attacked, if your vanguard's a faulty Rosa, you may choose one of your back or rear guard, stand it, and get five the power for that turn, and if you did, put this unit into your soul. So, send stuff to soul, so you can spam more soul boss with faulty Rosa, and get you a back or restander so you can boost more consistently, which is every rush deck's main weakness of boosting. This card's good. I don't remember what my Felty Rose deck looks like, but unless I have a grade 3 that I'm not willing to sack for this, this is an easy 4 for me. Then we have Laying Under the Night Sky Ravana. Great to have FFK Shield, Tank at Base, Friend, Continues Vanguard Circle. If you have nothing in the same combat as you, those, both of these become friends. Auto in place on Rear Guard Circle, Energy Blast 3. Choose a card from your job zone with a friend ability with a different card name from this card. Add it to your hand. Again, if they made Archetypal PGs, it would probably be really busted, considering Archetypal PGs, at least back in G, mostly had the same ability of their, uh, whatever their respective keyword was, or they were supported by their keyword. Like, I know the PG for Bloom actually had Bloom. I know the PG for Hari had Magia. The PG for Chrono Jet didn't have Time Leap, but it had an ability that worked with Time Leap. So, like, you get my point. If they did have archetypal PGs here, most likely a friend PG would exist, and this would be able to bounce it, even if it had, like, the normal PG ability of requiring a discard regardless if you have two or more hand two or less hand cards. Anyways, though, being able to bounce back a card from your drop zone is nice, especially with all the different discard files you gotta have, and it's a free friends card, so, you know, three of, or four of. Then we have Let's Make a Wish Together, Amechi. Great one, Boost, Vatka, Shield, AK Base, Friend, the standard same Column unit. And then change Rear Guard during turn if you have a Great Three Guard, Vanguard 14 as card name, and this unit is a friend. All units are same Column as they can find the power. This card's good. This card's good. 
She's a 13k base guarantee the second you hit grade 3. Not to mention the fact that if you just put her behind Felty Rosa, or not Felty Rosa, Fortia, she'll also be an 18k. But on the bright side, Felty, or not Felty Rosa, I don't know what I'm Fortia, depending on which Fortia is, I'm pretty sure both of them get 5k. But either way, most likely be a 23k with a restand. So, Emechi, and not to mention the fact like the grade 2 from the previous set would also give her 5k or 10k. So, she's either 28 or 33, which is a really restanding Vanguard. Again, this card is great for him. I don't know why this is the rare and this is the double rare, but I'll take it for him. This card's great. Then we have Wishes Resting Upon the Surface, Lalako. I want this to be clear. All I saw was the Soul Blast part. All I saw was the Soul Blast part when the card was revealed, and I automatically knew it was a powerful card. Also, I just love the moon. I This is beautifully done. I really love, like, the water and the moon here. It's great. And there's Act Rear Guard. Once return Soul Blast 1, put thousand power for that turn. Powerful Auto Rear Guard. This new attacks and anything. You have no card to your Soul. Counter Blast 1, Energy Blast 3. Draw a card. Plus thousand power for that turn. Okay, if you use the if you use it, Soul Blast skill the same turn to 25k swing, not counting for Sunrise with a free hand card. Not bad. It's good. It, it's a beat stick that restands thanks to Harmonia. So it's not bad, especially because it gets to keep that buff, and you can use it more than once per turn. But I like this card more. Full of fun Freya. Grade 3, Twin Giant, Persona, 13k base, Auto Vanguard, when attacks and anything. If your Vanguard's a grade 3, go to Harmonia, and you have no soul cards. Counter Boss 1, plus 1 care for the battle. Yeah. Beat stick wise, she wins hands down because she's at least a 20k swinger, probably a 25 with her skill. This, on the other hand, if your opponent's at 4 damage and you have 2 of these and you're willing to drop the CB4, considering the fact that I believe Hermina actually makes your... Actually, I think the new Hermina makes all of your CB free past a certain point. So, I'm reminding me about that. Actually, I'll, I'll check later. But, um, yeah. 4 of. Just, just crit pressure. Even if they're pokes, they're at least forcing your opponent to guard. So, um, crit pressure, to say the least. Four of. Now we move on to the final reveals for today. First up, we have Conavial Evening Raski, great on boost, 5k shield, 8k base, and auto rearguard when she boosts. If you play a magazine order this turn, she's up to one card from your drop zone, shove it to soul, and she'll get plus 5,000 power for that battle. All around pretty solid. I mean, she gets you more soul cards, which is nice. She's at 13k, and she can send any card to soul. So, you know, if they ever make like a backup Kyoka that needs a magazine, or if they ever make a secondary magazine that doesn't necessarily require Kyoka, and in a deck that wants a lot of soul, you can definitely use Rasky there so she's a pretty nice grade one so she's a good three of possibility then we have photogenic finder to ran grade two instead of 5k shield 10k base okay change rear guard during your turn if you put a magazine order this turn she'll get both thousand power so 15k base is pretty solid and then act rear guard if you played a magazine order this turn energy blast two shovel to soul check the top seven shift to one unit card with a different card name from her call it to rear guard circle or choose to a magazine from one them put it to hand shelf for deck arm pretty solid because she can either knit you a magazine guarantee for next turn or she can get you a better rear guard to replace her such as Archie for the restand. Oh, she's a nice tech option. I don't think she's a four of just because you do have more like attack focused cards in Kyoka, but I do think she's definitely a good consistency user. The and also the energy blast is the other reason why I'm against her, and we'll see why in a second. But uh, I'll give her a good three of. And then we have the reason why I say she's a 3 of, and that is hashtag make a wish Kiyoka. Grade 3, 200 personality, 13k base. I don't know why I read this card as having a divine skill the first time I saw it. It doesn't, by the way. I just don't want to know why I said it was not like that. Anyways, dress up, hashtag make a trend Kiyoka. During those fights, regardless of having the same name, so you know during deck building, they're still considered a separate cards. So you can run max copy of both. And when you persona ride, you can persona ride the Kiyoka on top of this and vice versa. Continues Vanguard during turn. If you played a magazine order this turn, all your front wounds get full of power. And if your opponent's Vanguard's a grade 3 or greater, all of your units Kyoka and their car names can also attack from back center rear guard and also get plus 5 power. So pretty much guaranteed the second you play a magazine order your entire front row gets half persona ride and if your opponent's vanguard is like grade 3 or greater all of your Kyoka units in total if they're in the front row get plus 10k and the ones in the back row can swing from back row and get plus 5k specifically back row center. All around pretty solid I mean extra numbers which is nice and again it's just very easy pressure all for just playing a magazine and then act vanguard once per turn it's cost soul blast 1 and energy blast 2 the reason why I don't like this card necessarily, I don't not like it, I just feel like it's less copies because of, you know, the Vanguard requiring energy boss. Anyway, choose a grade from 1 to 3, declare it. Check the top 5, so the one unit card that declared grade up to one magazine card from each, reveal them both, put them into your hand, show for your deck. Okay, the second I saw this part of the skill, I immediately knew that this card was busted. Because this entire video, I have been saying, if they make archetypal PGs or they make PGBS in general, this deck is going to be broken. Or like any deck that has it's going to be broken because not many decks and Ds can search PGs. What does this card do? 
you can just continuously say grade one because one of the magazines is grade one and the only other thing that's not a grade one is the order grade three which is a promo so if you don't run it, you don't run it which means in my build because until we get that order grade three in you know english i can just keep saying grade one until i fish out a pg and or a magazine with this this card is busted <laughs> that is a free pg i know i'm the only person thinking this but like that is good good for real um for, for that reason alone and nothing else, it, it, it's good offensively, it has an amazing defensive search skill, and to be fair with you, considering the fact that this can search Archie, I don't even think you need to worry about just not just, I think you can just afford to keep saying one on this, because I feel like you're going to hit a PG eventually. Then we move on to our Lutetia cards, uh, next up we have Stay Away Carvia, Great on Boost, 5k Shield, AK Base. Tears Rear Guard during turn. If you played a curse, play this turn. Shook like 5 of power, so 13k base, pretty solid. And then act Rear Guard once per turn, discard a card from your hand, choose a curse play from your drop zone, put it back to hand. Okay, cool. If you're forced to soul boss one for whatever reason that may be, you can recycle it. And not to mention the fact as well, she's a 13k booster, and she can help you set up your curse plays, or maybe if you have to discard them for right deck as well. She's getting a support card, I think a three of or four for curse plays. I haven't played them in a while, but I am interested to play them again with these reveals. Then we have Cherish Starlight Roseltio, Great to set 5k shield, 10k base. On which she's discarded from your hand by card abilities during your turn if you have a vanguard lutetian's card name energy blast three to draw a card okay all around pretty solid if you have the three feet energy lying around for her you get a free hand card to replace her after you discard her which is all around pretty solid and then her other abilities all the drop zone when you play a curse play order during your turn kind boss one card to rear guard circle plus five thousand power okay that's all around pretty solid because it doesn't matter what grade your vanguard's at as long as you just play one of your two orders you can just keep bringing her back and she'll be able to i guess we're like a uh, pseudo recycle herself so all around pretty solid i do like this great to a lot i think she's good so she's a nice four for me then we have Riv and Tole Lutitia. She's a grade three with twin drive, the Persona Ride ability, 13k base, the standard dress up. Like I said, for Kyoka in deck building, she's different from the OG Lutitia, but you can run them so you can run them both at max copies. But in the actual gameplay, they can Persona Ride off each other. Continuous, this card can only be written from a grade three with Lutitia's card name. Okay, that's when you know it's going to be good. On one place on Vanguard Circle, search your deck or drop some one curse play card reveal, push to hand if you search your deck and shuffle it. Okay, that's just a straight up free order. Um, and that explains why this has to be specifically wrote from a grade 3 because if it didn't then this would be incredibly good on the grade 2. Then act Vanguard once per turn, Karen Boss 1. This unit gets all the following according to the number of curse plays in your soul. Two or more, your entire front row gets plus 10. For the record, this is the first time I'm reading this card. Like I didn't even get to like pre-read it before I did this reveal, so um so the turn you persona ride this because it has to be written from the grade three so the turn you have to persona ride this that's just a free plus 20 to front row assumably okay cool four more auto vanguard i see a drive skill once per turn at the end of the battle this unit attack it's a hand card stand this unit gets minus one drive six or more contains vanguard as drives cannot be reduced by this unit's card effects so guaranteed 20k on your persona ride turn Possible restand ability. This is the only one that's not necessarily guaranteed, and even then it's highly guaranteed. And then this is the only one that's like it's gonna take a little bit more investment, but um whew, that card is um I'm now half tempted to run the Kyoka cards in the uh in the Lutitia deck just to try to cheat an order into soul via this card's effect, just to see how far I get with that. <laughs> Um, four of it's beat stick on steroids, honestly. And the bushy kind of knew what they were doing with this one, didn't they? Then we have our last card for the day a little demonic method, Velfir, great to set 5k shield, 10k base, auto and placed on rear guard circle, soul charge one. Okay, I'm just gonna gamble my entire plan on soul charging an order off her. Then kind of boss want to draw a card. Cool, not a mandatory soul charge, but it allows you to draw a card regardless, and it's just a good card for that. Auto rear guard when you're when you're great when this attacks a great three or greater. If you have a soul with the same card name as your vanguard, plus five in the power for that battle. 15k swing, not bad, definitely a little bit better in the multi-attack based decks, especially like Coral for example, who this can actually hit an extra Coral into Soul. But um, all around though, I do like Valfire a lot, I think she's a good supporting grade 2 for like most of the Lyrical Monster decks, especially the ones that have dress ups, so 3 of for me. But without further ado, that's it for this one, I hope you all enjoy. I have to go learn how to play Lutitia now, because uh, whoo, that, um, that's just going to be an interesting second grade 3 turn. So I'll see you all in the next one, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join us on Twitch, I'll see you all then, don't forget to set up your vanguards. Thank <laughs> you.